Hey everybody, it's Robin Heron, your carnivorous grandma here. I just wanted to come in here and talk to you guys about just finishing the 31 day sea lion challenge. 31 days I ate only ruminant meats, so lamb and beef, I didn't really have any other ruminant meats during that time, and seafood. I wanted to just come in and talk about the five things that I learned during my one month on the sea lion challenge. So, first of all, I learned that I can do hard things. During the course of the month, I also decided that I was going to give up sweeteners. I was listening to Dr. Anthony Chafee one night, it was a Thursday night, about a little over a month ago, and, um, and he was saying that if you're using sugar-free sweeteners and if you're drinking coffee, you need to give those things both up immediately. So that night I decided that I would go ahead and I would stop using my sugar-free sweetener, which was liquid sucralose. And I also drank a lot of Diet Coke and sweet drinks and things like that. So um, that was one of the most challenging things about this month was that I was not having sweets. Um, and I was pretty down in the dumps for several couple of weeks during that time. I almost forgot to mention I also gave up coffee during the month of October. What a crazy thing to do. Like, I don't know why I was torturing myself, but I did give up coffee. Um, it's been about two weeks since I gave up coffee and um, it was not nearly as tough as giving up sweeteners. So um, yeah, I did that too. But now I'm finally past it and I've learned that I definitely can do hard things. Um, I often wanted to give up because I really wanted some eggs or I wanted a little bit of cheese, um, but uh, I didn't. I stayed the course and I uh, kept at it even through travel during the course of the month and I made it through, you guys. I made it through. Number two is that I need to eat more fish. So during the sea lion challenge, I did eat a fish and I ate shrimp and lobster. And um, I realized that I definitely need to eat more fish. I just need to incorporate more seafood and fish into my normal every, everyday diet. I did even eat sardines a couple of days and sardines are actually really delicious. Um, and so um, one day I thought I might be hungry. It was early, I decided that I would eat uh, sardines and I ended up eating two cans so um, definitely need to get those omega-3s in so add more fish number three is don't forget that you can fast if you're in a challenging situation where there is no food there that you're gonna be able to eat you can always decide to fast. You will not starve to death, I promise you. So um, if you wanna just stick to it and stay the course, go ahead and fast when there's nothing there that is a good option for you. I'm not really sure that I saw a very significant benefit from doing the sea lion challenge. Um, it was challenging, that's for sure. So um, I guess number four would be, go ahead and take a challenge. Why not? You can do anything for a month. So just give it a try, see if it helps you, see if it works for you. And if it doesn't, then you can go back to your normal carnivore way of eating. So that's what I did today. And I had two scrambled eggs. <clears throat> So somebody was asking if I'm adding back my food one at a time, and I just can't see it happening. <laughs> I want eggs and I want chicken today. So I'm gonna have breakfast with uh, scrambled eggs, and then for dinner I'm having chicken wings.
fast. Two scrambled eggs and some chuck steak. And I'm planning to have um, some chicken wings for dinner. Oh yes, they're getting there, almost done. Number five is, sea lion is definitely not for me. <laughs> I did enjoy the increase in the amount of fish and of course, I love my steaks and my beef, but I missed a lot of things. So I missed eggs and I missed chicken and I missed uh, bacon. Um, so sea lions, definitely not for me. I will not keep doing that long-term and I definitely don't think that I'll do that challenge again, but I'm glad I did it because I did learn that I can do hard things. And also I can stay the course even while I'm traveling. You know, during my travel time, there were moments where I almost felt like giving up. And um, I just decided to just go ahead and stay the course. So that's what I did. And I'm super proud of myself for making it through these 31 days. And also I just want to thank Rhonda Townsend at Carnivore Leo for taking this challenge with me and she stayed the course as well. So I'm super proud of us, Rhonda. We did a great job. I know that you guys are going to want to know about and that is, did I lose weight on the sea lion challenge? So I'm going to go ahead and put in my, I'll put my weight graph in. And I'll go ahead and put in my side-by-side -side comparison between day one and day 31 of October. As you can see from my graph, I had a dip in my weight after my travel days. I lost like five pounds over the days that I traveled. Um, I'm not sure what that was really all about. I didn't eat a lot while I was gone, so that was one thing. And then the other thing was that I didn't have a lot of fat while I was gone. So maybe that could be it. The other thing is um, that I only lost about three pounds total. So um, that's amazing for a month, to be honest. That's really good to lose three pounds in a month, but um, it didn't do anything drastic as far as I could see, as far as my weight loss is concerned. What I will say is that people are noticing that I'm losing weight and I'm hearing people saying things like, how much weight are you planning on losing? And I'm really, I don't really have a plan for my weight loss. I am going to let my body tell me what size it wants to be by eating a proper human diet. Ultimately, my body will land at the weight that is supposed to be for me as a proper human on a proper human diet. Okay, you guys, see you next time.